Hello, welcome to TechSharmit. In this session, we will learn about RTN subr command in CL program. So here in uh, CL, we can return the subroutine uh, for some specifically con uh, some for some specific condition with the help of RTN subr command. So it is something related to the leave SR. Uh, that we have in RPG program so it works same like see leave SR in RPG is used to leave the subroutine uh, similarly here RTN subr is also used for return uh, or for leaving the subroutine so here I have created the program let's go through that program so I'm opening it in edit mode so first of all we are declaring two variable here uh, one is input named as input and its type is decimal of length 4 and we have initialized the value as 1 to this variable second variable named as output and the type of this uh, variable is integer of length 4 so make sure that whenever you are declaring variable for subroutine uh, just to return some value then its length and type should be same integer and 4 because uh, to return the value uh, like subroutine will return only the integer value of length 4 other values will not be returned from the subroutine post that on line numbers uh, from line number 15 we are calling the subroutine so before we discuss this uh, we will directly jump to the main subroutine and then we will again back to this line so here at the time of declaration I am just using sub r to start the subroutine and then my subroutine name is print text so if you are not aware of these lines like you can simply write these commands and then take f4 and then you will be able to see the fields where you can put your subroutine name so now after that what we are doing we are here checking for the one condition where input is 1 so if input is 1 then do so either you can pass the command directly here or you can pass do so that num uh, you can keep more lines to this if block so I'm checking for condition input if input is 1 then do and whatever the things I will write in between the do and and do will be process so here I am using that command which is RTN subr so what it will do whenever it receives input value as 1 it will simply leave the subroutine it will not process anything it will simply leave that subroutine okay and if the input value is not 1 means uh, other than 1 else then it will go for the else condition where we are doing the same thing uh, but we are setting the value for output variable so here I'm using chgvar command so you have to simply write chgvar then take f4 and here we are passing the output variable and assigning some value which is 5 and then in end subr you have to take f4 so once you take f4 it will ask you for the return variable like what variable you want to return from this subroutine so here you can specify this in our previous session when we are discussing about how to create subroutine uh, we are not using this parameter at that time we are just simply ending the subroutine like with the help of end subr but here we we can pass this value so that it will return some value from the subroutine so logic is quite clear like if the input is 1 then we will simply leave the subroutine with the help of RTN sub r which is a written subroutine and uh, if the value is other than input uh, value 1 then it will go and set the value for output variable which is 5 and then it will simply return the value now we will discuss about the calling statements so here in this calling statement what we are doing we are uh, calling the subroutine print text and so at the time of calling we are taking f4 and then you have to specify that variable which you want to return from the subroutine or which is coming from the subroutine okay so here we are receiving the value so we are just passing rate uh, variable name for return value which is m, m percent output and after that we are using SND PGM MSG command to print this to screen so as this is the integer value because subroutine only return integer value of length 4 so we are converting it with the help of percentage care uh, built in function so it is converting this value to character and then it is printing back to the user and after that we are just simply displaying one text uh, 
for demo purpose like a text printed after subroutine processing okay so let's see how it works so here we are initializing uh, the value as 1 so it should go to the first condition where it will match this condition one uh, out input is 1 then it will simply leave the subroutine so in that case it should print output as 0 and that text which is after subroutine processing so I'm calling it so yes it is printing 0 then if I put my cursor here and please uh, do page down then it will show this text which is text printed after subroutine processing fine now if I change the value let's say if I make it as 3 and if I try to compile it again so in that case what will happen it will go in else condition because input value is not 1 and in else condition it will set the value for CH, uh, with the help of CHG where command and it change the value of output variable to 5 and then it will simply return the value so I'm again compiling it to see the output so calling it so the output is 5 which is correct because this time it lies in the else condition and it returns the value by setting it with the help of CHG where command and if I do page down here it prints the text which comes after processing the subroutine so text printed after subroutine processing so this is how you can use RT and subr command to return or to leave the subroutine and if you want to return some value from subroutine then you can sp simply specify in the end subr RT and well uh, and you can pass either that value or you can pass the variable name but always make sure that you are returning the value which is of integer type of length 4 otherwise it will not work okay now think about one more scenario suppose if there is uh, if the input value is 1 and still we want to return some value so in that case you can place your cursor here on RT and subr and then take f4 so here you will find one well, uh, field where you can return the value from this place so let's say I want to pass I am directly passing value you can also pass variable here so let's say if the value is 1 then I want to pass it as uh, I want to pass it as uh, 4 okay so what it will do if the con input value is 1 then it will return 4 otherwise it, it will return 5 so let's make it again 1 and try to compile and see this time it should print output as 4 so yes it is printing output as 4 because this time we are returning the value also at the time of leaving the subroutine so this is how we can utilize sub, uh, RT and subr and here if I do page on it then it will surely print that text also yeah so yeah uh, this is how we can use this RT and subr command to return or to leave the subroutine but here you can also return some value as well and if you want to simply return some value from subroutine then you can uh, pass that value like you can change that value inside the subroutine and then at the time of ending the subroutine you can return the value with the help of RT and well so you can simply uh, go and take F4 and then specify that value which you want to return so mainly there are two things first thing is like whenever you are declaring any variable for subroutine uh, for return value then it should be only of integer type of length 4 second thing uh, like uh, at the time of returning the value from RT and sub R, you have to take F4 and you have to specify that value or variable which you want to return at the time of leaving that subroutine so yeah that's all for this session in the upcoming session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching tech chairman